Hello, you are listening to the OmniTalk Retail Fast Five, brought to you in partnership with the AM Consumer and Retail Group, Firework, SPS Commerce, and Sezzle. Headline number two, according to our friends across the pond, Retail Innovation Hub, shout out to Scott Thompson, love your work. Woo! Reva opened its fourth and largest autonomous checkout store with Trigo. The new store is in Cologne, yes. which makes it the second one in that city, the first of which, and we visited last if year. If you want to see the video, you can go to the Amitok Retail YouTube channel and see Chris go get me a coffee and a beer. Oh, that's right. That's the one where I go yeah. and I'm your gopher. Yeah, we, we, we timed you. Yeah, we did Supermarket the... Sweep. We did. That's right. I forgot about that. German yeah. edition. Yeah, German Supermarket Supermarket Sweep. Uh, that was terrible. <laughs> Oh my God, my nose is so bad. All right, according to Reva's company blog post, it, quote, features more products than all other Reva stores combined. Combined. I'd missed yeah. that when I was putting this together. Including signature items such as coffee machines, scales, deposit machines, and a large variety of alcohol, end quote. It also is reportedly 564 square meters, and which if I do that math in my head right now. Did you do it? Wait, wait, wait for it. He did not do the math in his head right now. Uh, that, that, makes was a, it, that was a that was a that was a calculation do, do, that do, 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 do. that makes it a whopping six thousand seventy square feet, give or take any rares that I might have encountered in rounding. And and this is also you are lucky today because the put you on the spot question is up front Ooh. from A and M, the A yes. and M Consumer and Retail Group. Here it is: Is this the sign we need that all is still right in the checkout free world following Amazon's recent pullback? Great question. You know, I, it is a great question, and I think that's exactly what you and I were thinking as we were trying to pull together the stories for this week, and I do. I mean, I think that you look at Reva and the place that they have. They are a, a, like cemented retailer, part of the fabric of of Germany and of German shoppers. They know what to expect when they're going in there, and I I think that we're going to see more success than we than we are seeing Amazon as you know Amazon being challenge of one becoming this entirely new retailer in the space you know providing a level of quality getting people over the hurdle of being like am i going to trust Amazon for my groceries and a new technology format all in one and this might be anecdotal but when we were at the Reva store in Cologne, the smaller one, um, it yeah. didn't seem like there was the hesitancy from those shoppers in the same way that we're seeing the hesitancy in the That's US. That's a really good point. Like yeah. I feel like people were going in there and maybe it's yep. just the, you know the European mentality. They've had this kind of stuff around for longer. Yep. They have more of an in and out day to day shopping kind of habit than we do in the U.S. here. But I think that this is really an opportunity to see this take off. I think we're going to see the opposite of what we're seeing with Amazon here. Yeah, that's really interesting. Um, you know, for me, yeah, that's that's a really great point. I had never thought about that. The culture dynamic there. Yeah, it did feel different. It didn't feel like I was in Hudson News at the no, airport. There was nobody talking about like, like tranks in my, your or not tranks, radio but chips like in my butt. Chips in my butt you know, because right? Amazon's tracking me, Big Brother sort of right. situation. Yeah, Especially in Germany, you think yeah, you, like they would be the most. You would think it'd be the exact opposite. Concerned. Yeah. Although, although they may have been saying it, but I wouldn't have been able to understand <laughs> it too. I guess. But but no, it didn't feel like that was the case. But. I, I, I agree with you. And the, the reason I point that, I actually look, I like, I went to social media to see like what like the Reva people are saying about it. Yeah. And and one of my connections, Annika Vuiz, who I'm probably butchering her name again. My I think German, it's Annika. Annika. Yes, it is Annika. I think that's Annika. a German pronunciation. Yeah, it probably is. We my, just my, made, the, made it a U.S. My version. German pronunciation is horrible, but she's the chief acceleration manager at Reva. That's her title. And she had this to say after, and she said this after the previous three store openings. She's mm. been a part of all of them. And I she didn't said, see this. What Yeah, this is really interesting to me. She said, quote, back then, back when she was opening the first one, I was yep. full of question marks. Is the new technology working as expected? Do we test enough to find all the bugs? Are customers understanding what to do? Have we done enough training, et cetera? Today, I'm standing outside the store counting customers and curious if this store will perform even better than its sibling stores. How exciting it is to be at the forefront of innovation. Mm. That tells end quote. That tells me that the idea of checkout free grocery is still alive and kicking. Yeah. And it, the key to it to me is that now as we look forward, it's going to be a grocer that develops how to do it on a platform other than Amazon that right. brings it to market at scale. Right. And I think that's what we're talking about here. And Reva, amongst many others, is and Tesco and other people are the furthest along to give us that journey as shoppers to figure out how does it work and incorporate it into our lives the way mm -hmm. we want, which I think your point brings back the hallmark of what you were saying before. Right. 